everyone, and welcome to Later. Now, I'm really excited about my guest tonight because I've just finished seeing his new film, and it's incredible. You might know him from movies like Armageddon and The End of the Affair, but this new film, The Patriot, is sure to make him a household name. In the film, he plays Mel Gibson's nemesis, an incredibly wicked evil man named Colonel William Tavington. You can't help but hate him, and if you don't believe me, take a look and decide for yourself. You! So you're the ghost, are you? I remember you, and that farm, that stupid little boy. Did he die? Hmm? You know, it's an ugly business doing one's duty. But just occasionally, it's a real pleasure. Before this war's over, I'm going to kill you. Why wait? Soon. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a man that I promise you, you will definitely want Mel Gibson to kill before it's all over. The extremely talented Jason Isaacs. Oh, we're so butch, aren't we? It's frightening. Oh, you were so mean and bad and oh. terrible. If you were English, you'd think I was a hero. What are you talking about? I don't know. Even the, even the English would probably have a hard time with it. Apparently they are. I'm not looking forward to going home. I'm going to stay here as long as I can. Yeah, actually, you, before we actually speak a little bit about the film and the bad guy, the British press is kind of being very vocal about yeah. some opinions. Yeah, I got this brick of newspaper cuttings in my hotel room the other day, and uh, it's good fun, really. I mean, as long as they're, we've got all this extra press coverage that isn't on the reviews page, I think it's good that people are talking about the movie. What, is, what exactly are the British saying? They <laughs> think I'm some kind of traitor, and I portrayed the British in a bad light. You know, like we have a, a glorious history of empire and colonialization, like yeah. we haven't been kicked out of every country in the world for behaving despicably. And, um, <laughs> You know, the fact is the British don't come out of the movie too badly. I do. My boss doesn't want me to do what I do, and the, the, my soldiers don't want to carry out my orders. It's just that I'm an evil son of a bitch, and, and you've got to have a good villain in the movie. you got it. And, honey, you are a fabulous villain. Oh, thanks very much. These journalists writing the reports have obviously never tried to write a movie, because I think they'd like me to take a vote on everything I do and, and, and have a look at the Geneva Convention rule book before I kill anyone. <laughs> and um, it doesn't make for a very exciting movie. No, it doesn't. You actually had, I, I think the filmmakers have been fairly honest about having to take some creative license to make an exciting movie. Correct. I hope so. I mean, I think it's a fantastic film. Most important thing is uh -huh. it's a great yarn. If anybody watches it and is upset enough to want to go and get a book from the library and read about the American Revolution, that's one more book than most people who see movies read. Yeah. And uh, actually, a lot of the stuff is quite closely based on real things. What do you think is the most moving thing about the movie? Oh, uh, you know, I, you're asking the wrong person. I'm pathetic. I cried all the way through it. We, <laughs> we, it's so true. did I. I cried when I read it. I cried in the bath. I remember crying when the... the I can't do... Uh -huh. That bit. And uh, I went to see it with a bunch of journalists, hard-nosed journalists the other day for the first time, and I was sobbing, and my girlfriend leaned over, and she went, darling, you've got to stop crying. The lights are coming up. You're the bad guy. So um, <laughs> I think it's all very moving. Is there...